Radio, get on the case. Chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. No score here as we play inning number two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. And I can tell you, from facing guys like this my whole career, you may think you're getting a curveball, but when a guy's throwing in the high 90s, it's darn near impossible to sit on one. Here's Neil Walker. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. Ah, that thing's knee high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that one. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Standing in now, Curtis Granderson. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Well, that's a good spot for that two-seam fastball. Now, remember, that'll run away from left-handers, so a good idea to work the outside edge. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Met strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Salvador Perez strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. Salvador Perez. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted into center field. Cespedes is there. He's got it one away. Well, they took him up the ladder right there with the fastball, and he actually did a pretty good job to get wood on it at all. But it's still an easy play out there in center field. Alex Gordon stands in for the first time. First pitch on its way. And that's in there for strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. All right. Now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. On deck, Mike Mustakis. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting seven. Third baseman. Mike Moustakis gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. <laughs> he wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 
This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Walker has it. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. As Drupal Cabrera steps in here to start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Yeah, and you know he's the number nine hitter, but you've got to go to the plate right now thinking like a leadoff guy. Just find a way to get on base and then give those one, two, three guys a chance to drive you in or do something. Ground ball right side. Fielded cleanly by Hosmer, and he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. David Wright will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. But not really a good at bat there. Forget getting out, but he didn't see any pitches as well. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Right side. On to first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two up, two down now start batting. to the third. Designated hitter. Alejandro, Alejandro De Aza stands in. Ventura has his target. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Called a strike on the outer half. 0-1. Third inning, no score to this point. Called strike 0-2. Yeah, and it's no tough ball, enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives it. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Mets go down 1-2-3. Home half of the third coming up. No score. I'll see this Escobar digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. The shortstop. I'll see this Escobar. This is in the air out to right field. After it is Granderson. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. You know, that's the thing with throwing a fastball as hard as he does. It makes fly balls travel that much farther off the bat. And this thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Lorenzo Kane will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. And yeah, they tried to sneak a fastball by him, and he was having none of it. Be interesting to see if they try to go at him again with the hard stuff. Into the seats, 0 and 1. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. line toward center field in there a base hit now coming to the right plate now fielder. Gerard Dyson and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here oh and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game it can change the entire this ball gets down let's see if they try to score and they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Kendry's Morales will dig in here with the bases loaded now and their best opportunity yet to get on the board. They've had a few chances and come up empty, so they can't let this one get away from them. One and no pitch on the way. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Here's the 1 1. Hard hit ball to second. Walker's got it. A bare hand for one. Back to Duda. A double play, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We've got more on this. Yoena Cespedes is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still don't have any runs on the board yet, but getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. And, and here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball, 1-1. One 
Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Ventura gets the sign. Here's the one two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Calling for it. Dyson makes the play one away. First baseman number 21. Lucas Duda. Lucas Duda will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he falls behind 0 and 2. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. And if you want to see a guy get blown away at the plate, this is just Michael one finger down Alberto. three times in a row. He was just overmatched there. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Bouncer down the line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. On to the. Back with Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. Matt Vaskersian here as Eric Hosmer gets ready to start Number things out for Kansas City. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Looking up is Cespedes. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Eric Hosmer. And the Royals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. About the only silver lining to this one from a defensive point of view is it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. You can survive it when this guy is hitting solo shots, but if he's doing this with two or three men on base, then things can really get out of hand in a hurry. The catcher, number 13. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Yes, yeah, he'll take a look at ball one. Now that last home run, estimated at a distance of 421 feet. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Alex Gordon digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. One run, six hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Cespedes moves over. He's got it, and there are two down now. Third baseman, number eight. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in, the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Mustakas. Into the windup and the pitch. Line drive to center field. Cespedes is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Royals get a run on the long ball by Hosmer. We played four. It's now one nothing Royals. Travis Darnot 